Edward Ned MacDonald by Mary Green Edward Ned MacDonald was an Irish immigrant who in 1873 paid £65 for 200 acres on which the surveyed town of Esk, then called Glen Rock, now stands. He owned the Royal Hotel in Esk. His children are remembered in Esk with street names of Richard, Mary and Elizabeth. In 1899, his only son predeceased him, as did his wife. In 1914, when Archbishop Duig opened the Catholic Church in Esk, he described as remembering Ned and his good wife and family as kind-hearted people. From 1879 to 1883, Ned had Mail Contract 87 to deliver mail on horseback from Esk to Nanango. In March 1883, the Nanango mailman had driven Premier McIlwraith by coach from Esk to Collington Station, and in July of that year, he reported as delivering the first mail to Nanango by buggy. By September, he'd been granted a coach license and the first mail coach was driven by Tom Tudor. Mail coaches of the wagonette style operated throughout the Brisbane Valley for barely 30 years, while the railway was being built from the Brisbane Valley Junction at Walkaraka to Yarraman. Tom Tudor was described as dashing. The coach route he followed had been rutted by bullock wagons for 40 years, and the coach driver's job was clearly no sinecure. On one occasion, the mail coach overturned on the Black Butt Range and a passenger's leg was broken in the accident. Compensation was claimed, and it was Tom Tudor, as the driver, who was ordered to pay £50 to the victim. Flooding made the situation for coach drivers even worse, and on another occasion, Tom Tudor was driving a coach full of passengers to Brisbane for the exhibition when it was swept away crossing Wallaby Creek between Stonehouse and Collington. An orphan boy named Wagner was drowned, as well as three of the four coach horses. The boy's body was recovered some weeks later and is buried at Collington Station. In 1884, Ned had a contract to deliver mail by coach from Esk to Nanango. At first the coach left on Sunday morning from Esk and arrived in Nanango before dark. But Ned and Robert of Stonehouse were friends, so by mid-year the arrangement had changed. The coach then left Esk on Saturday afternoon and passengers and drivers spent Saturday night at Stonehouse before driving on to Nanango the next morning. The Nanango passengers were not happy, but Robert and Kate were ecstatic. Interestingly, Saul Mendelssohn of the song Brisbane Ladies fame was often a passenger at one time as he had business in Esk and Nanango. Choosing fresh horses to tackle the Black Butt Range was also strategically sound and not unexpected from Ned, who was the grandfather of Esk Racing and whose favourite racehorses were named in his obituary. In 1888, the coach capsized on Stony Pinch near Stonehouse and a passenger, also called MacDonald, broke his right thigh and was driven to Esk Hospital by none other than Robert Williams in a spring cart. What a friend's fall.